Cat signs, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross watching, welcome to your tarot love messages. In today's reading, we're going to take a look and see what the cards reveal to you, what messages you need to know, uh, what's destined for you in the near future, who or what is coming towards you. It's going to be a general reading. Please keep mindful. If you're after personal tarot reading with myself, feel free to reach out and inquire. My email address is going to be listed below the video. I feel like a card flipped over. No, maybe. Okay, let's see things. Okay. Okay, I was only going to pull out six cards, but I feel like it's no coincidence that this um, Eight of Chalices he has popped out for you. You've got seven and you've got eight. Okay. I feel like it's time to, it's time to walk away, okay? For some of you, you're at a phase, at a point in your life where it's time to let go. Whatever it is that you've been holding on to that you know is no longer meant for you, okay? Something or someone that you outgrew, okay? Something that you're holding on to that isn't serving you positively, isn't serving your highest good, is unhealthy, something that you're keeping yourself attached to, okay? It's a situation that you might have outgrown, guys, and by holding on to it, you're shrinking yourself to try and fit into this situation that I feel like you're just too big for it. You've just completely outgrew it. So it's now time to let go. It's time to detach. It's time to walk away. Okay. It's time to remove a certain, you know, a certain unhealthy person or situation or a habit. You know what it is. You know whatever it is that you're holding on to that isn't serving your highest good. You know exactly what this is or who this is for you. I feel like it's time. I feel like it's time for you to... I feel like it's time for you to leave something behind. Here's the thing, because if you keep holding on to it, you'll never get to where it is that you need to go. Okay? You might be content, but you won't be happy. You won't be satisfied. Okay? And... You might be where you're at, but you won't grow. There won't be that personal development for you. And I feel like it's it's finally time to close the chapter on whatever this is. It's time to wrap things up. You've been holding on to this person or this thing for way too long. You have a lot of good karma coming your way. I feel like you've done a lot of things, you know, you've helped a lot of people along um, along your way, along your path. You've put others first. Um, you've given without expecting to receive anything in return. I feel like you've stored up a lot of good karma. You've got a lot of good karma banked up here. And, you know, the universe has been keeping tabs. The universe has not forgotten about you. And I feel like a lot of good karma that you have stored up in your energy is coming your way and it's going to manifest itself in a lot of different ways okay for some of you there is a new romantic love a new romantic connection that is coming your way it has the energy of a soulmate being attached to it it's someone who's about to 
sweep you off your feet. It's that fairy tale romance that you've always envisioned for yourself. Truth be told, it's the love that you've always deserved, but you might have missed out on. Okay, it's the person that you've been waiting for. I don't know, you know, why it's taken this individual so long to arrive at your doorstep, but this person is coming into your life. Okay, and maybe that's why. Maybe you've been holding on for something so. You've been holding on to something or someone that without realizing it you've had no room in no space no room in your life to invite a new energy in and this person you know if they were to come into your life any sooner there'd be no space for this individual so by letting go of something you know you're also clearing up space to invite new romantic energies and new opportunities and new possibilities that are meant for you you will be presented with a lot of um, choices, a lot of opportunities. Um, and I feel like, as I've mentioned, it's it's manifesting itself in different ways. So new romantic connections, new networking connections, new friendships, new opportunities, um, career opportunities as well. I feel like you're, some of you are going to change career paths altogether. Because some of you have been thinking about switching up career paths and doing something different it's time to make the choice that best aligns with you okay because it's your life you need to live your life how you see fit for you okay you need to make sure that the choices and the decisions that you make are in soulful alignment are the choices and decisions that are going to serve your highest and your greatest good there is something key that is awakening inside of you. And I feel like this is why, and I feel like, again, circling back to that, you know, letting go and closing up chapters and moving on to the next chapter, the next phase or um, cycle, because you're ready. There's something that's being stirred and awakened inside of you. And maybe it was always in you. It's just been laying dormant. You might have just forgotten you had it in you. There's a certain kind of strength or it's like a certain energy here where it's like it's excitement, it's passion, it's something that's very soulful. And that's being awakened in, inside of you. You're also receiving a message that I feel like has been repeated very often from the universe. So for example, it might come in the form of the same song and you might hear it everywhere. Like as soon as you turn the radio on, um, you know, as soon as you turn the TV on, it just keeps following you. It's not a coincidence. It isn't. Um, or even if you want to call it that, it's a meaningful coincidence. Uh, but I feel like there's a message the universe is communicating to you. And this message is telling you that you're on the right track. You're exactly where you need to be to get to where you need to go. Okay. There may be some things that you need to do to help yourself along the way. But I feel like a lot of you, you're tracking, you're tracking along here. Um, I feel like there's the other message that I have for you. I feel like this I'm seeing hope. I'm seeing hope and faith. Maybe you need to have a little bit more faith in yourself. Okay, maybe you need to, you need to be your bigger supporter. Maybe, you know, maybe some insecurities of yours have been holding you back. Or maybe you, you know, um, there's like a suppressed or repressed energy and that hasn't been serving you very positively but I feel like now it's time for you to have a little bit more faith in yourself and your abilities and you know your strengths and your talents and have faith that everything will work out because it will everything will work out here and if it you know and sometimes the wrong one will lead you to the right one okay and sometimes you know life's greatest adventures begin on the wrong turn so be okay to you know make peace with whatever it is that hasn't worked out because it didn't work out for a reason also i feel like you do have a lot of people or a lot of opportunities that are showing up for you but i feel like with the seven of chalices um it's important to so what happens is I don't think any of these opportunities are bad, okay? I do think, you know, it's all of good karma that's coming your way, but some are better than others, okay? Because some are more in alignment with who you are, okay? And your passions and your values and your strengths, okay? So you need to choose people that choose you. 
You need to choose things that feel good for you. Make choices and decisions that feel good, that feel right, okay? Um, Seven of Cups is asking you to look past the glistening allure of illusion or the glistening allure of deception. Okay, because some things look, there's some shiny objects that look, you know, great from a distance. But when you come up close, you know, it isn't what you thought it was. So you need to choose things that feel good. Okay, not necessarily look good from a distance. So look past the glistening allure of something here or someone. Look past the shining, you know, the shiny glittery wrapper, if you will. Okay, because once you unwrap the packaging, what's underneath it might not be what it is that you expected. So it's very important to trust your intuition, to follow your gut. And some of you, you've been ignoring your gut on something and it's maybe left you feeling a little bit off balance lately. But I feel like you're destined for you're destined for what feels like a whole new chapter, a whole new cycle, even like a whole new you. But in order to get there, you need to let go of the past. You need to let go of whatever it is that hold is holding you back or you're holding on to. There's so much good karma that's coming your way and it's well deserved. But you need to be in an energy state where you recognize those opportunities and you identify them. And you identify the right opportunities. Because some opportunities might be um, good sh short term, okay? Or might be good from a distance. But up close, they're not what they seem to be. So you have choices and you have options. But choose the ones that are in alignment with your highest good. Okay, guys, and these are your messages. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, and subscribing. Bye.